Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. In the last episode, we acquired our second gym badge from Misty, the supposed water type gym leader. She wasn't. But here we are in her little town still because we were going to work our way out. But I saw something interesting. This old man here, he actually offers you a trade. If you talk to him, he asks you for a magma mite. And what do you get in return? He wouldn't believe what he asks, or what he offers. He offers a Mew. We could have gotten a free Mew just for giving him a magnet. It's so sad that we aren't able to, you know, collect either of those. Because they aren't part of our rule set of the wedlock. And another thing I've noticed while running around training is the guard moved. So I can go ahead and run inside this little house. Which, don't mind if I do. And there's this little rocket guy. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Well, now I don't. I mean, he is wearing shady clothes in broad daylight. What did he expect? Oh, Eradicate! Um... So I think I'll have Siri use Thunder Wave... ...to try to stop him from moving too much. And then we'll use Quick Attack? That should do a lot, right? No, it doesn't. Um, okay. I will switch over to Claws. We will let Claws handle everything here. Ah, uh, Tail Whip. No! Defense is his main thing. And attacking with his claws. Man, that Radicate's pretty strong. I won't lie there. But it's not strong enough. Uh, who is his next Pokemon? Surely it's not bad. About him? Interesting. I think Claws can handle that one. Uh, let's keep on using Vice Grip. Oh. That did not work as well as I thought. Ooh. I don't like that recoil we just took. Can we bubble? Does bubble do a lot? No, it just just as much. Huh. Um. I guess we'll just have to vice grip again. Until it faints? Uh, that's the plan anyway. As long as he keeps missing his attack anyway. Uh, we are faster, so we have the upper hand. I will take this gamble. Ah, see, it paid off. Now this little grunt can run away out of sight. Though I need a Pokemon Center. Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly. Thank you. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Ooh, TM28. Uh, what is that? I better get moving. Bye! Uh, TM28. You would think I would know what they are, but... There's too many to remember. Oh! I guess this guy was trying to learn to roleplay. Which is why he stole it from them. Um, yeah, uh, we won't question anymore. I do say I do like this fast forward option. It's a lot faster than running. But even just running is pretty fun. Uh, right here is Route 5, which means a new encounter. I do know this route pretty well because of the old games. Oh, <gasps> Umbreon? Oh, a dark type would be excellent on the team. Uh, let's do everything in our power to catch him. Um, what would we call him? Huh. Well, I guess first I should worry about catching the Umbreon. 
And then we'll just go from there. But yeah, the route we're on is where the daycare is, but I'm not really concerned about the daycare. Mainly because of the fact that... You know... We can't use daycares in a Nuzlocke. Uh, man, this Umbreon's really putting up a fight. Uh, I'll fast forward it just a little bit. Uh, nothing too bad should happen. There we go. It definitely does speed things up a bit. If this doesn't catch him, I don't know what will. But it seems like we are successful at this, after all. Now, what should we name an Umbreon? It's a Dark-type Pokémon that only comes out at night. Or evolves at night with high friendship. You know what, let's call our Umbreon Shade. That's a pretty good encounter in my opinion. Uh, yeah, but right here's pretty much the little Pokémon Center. I know this area because I played a lot of Infinite Fusion. Which is pretty much Kanto. Uh, so if I remember right, we are supposed to go through this area. The underground path. Hi, do you have a Marowak? Wanna trade it for my Celebi? I wish. If only I could. I really would. I want a Legendary on the team. But the only Legendaries with genders are Latios and Latias. Which I haven't ran into either. People often lose things in the dark of the underground path. I hope I don't. Um, okay, so round six. Um, what could be here for us? Oh! A Pidgey? Not a Pidgey. I was kind of hoping for something a little better, but I guess I can't complain too much. I do need a flying type eventually to use to get around as an HM slave. It should be fairly easy to catch. It's a level 16 Pidgey. If it gave us trouble, there'd be issues. Um, what to name a Pidgey though? We're gonna name him Polly. You know, probably want a cracker. You know, throw him in the PC. Okay, so... Our pair of Claws and Siri. They are really hurt, so... Let's get Marshall in for a while to kind of solo. We don't want to over-level. Oh? Who is this? Oh, we could have had a Marie. Uh, not that we need another electric type. Uh, okay, so let's move forward. Uh, two Pokemon trainers. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Uh, I don't think I want to play. They might have a scary Pokemon. Uh, Cascoon. Mmm, not really scary, but it could become scary. Uh, low kick, though. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and karate chop. No? Uh, oh, it's gonna keep using hard and... Uh, there's nothing I can do if it keeps doing that. Uh, fury swipe? No? Oh, no. A plus three Harden. That defense is going to be too tough for us to cut through. Or is it? Huh. Okay, if I had one more hit, we could have done it. Uh, speaking of one more hit, go on ahead, smack him around a bit. It's just a bug type. There we go. Uh, she had one more, right? Ah, the Spoink! I remember Spoink. It's kind of sad to know why it's always bouncing. I kind of wish this Pokemon had a better entry so he could be happy. 
Um, okay, so it identified me. Fury Swipe. Ooh, that's quite effective. Ooh, it fainted. Nice. That's a good little bit of damage. Okay, so one more Pokemon. Picnicker Isabella has a deadly bird. Fighting is strong against ice, right? We're about to find out. Oh, that is super strong against ice. And Marshall did not take a single hit, so that's nice. I'm a bit concerned though, cuz... All of our team is getting dangerously close to the level 20 range. And I'm trying to avoid that. Mainly because... I think the third gym has a level 21 as their highest. So, you know, we don't want to go over that. Oh, great, we got poisoned. Um... Ooh, okay. Good thing we took care of that really quick. Now we're in Vermilion. We are gonna heal before anything else. Ah, uh, now what can we do here? Uh, there's a house. I know the SS Anne is around. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I cannot bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Ooh, okay. I will gladly accept. Fishing is a way of life. It's like a fine poetry. From the seas to rivers. Go out and land a big one, my friend. Uh, he's kind of weird, but alright. Uh, I'll try my best. Let's see what we can manage with a fishing rod. Um, anything over here? Oh, there's a guy. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tampening the land to lay foundation. Uh, yeah, you have fun with that. Uh, what's in this house? Hi! Do you have a Chimino? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but for an Alakazam, that wouldn't be a bad trade-off. I would take it. Uh, greenhouse, huh? Um, oh, is this the fan club? It is! Um, you don't really need to hear his little story. It's kind of weird and long-winded. But he gives you a bicycle if you listen. Well, not a bicycle itself, but the voucher for it. Oh, that's... a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Thank you. I probably won't use it, but... we have it. So, let's try to get an encounter from here. Uh, fishing pole. Ah, there we go. If we're lucky, maybe we'll find something. Oh! We got one immediately. Oh! It's a shell gone! Ooh, okay. And Marshall's up front? Ooh, okay, so I know exactly what to do. We need to paralyze him first. So that way, we can increase our odds of catching it. Uh, yeah, Stun Spore. Oh. There we go. We're just trying to speed up the battle just a little bit. And then... Ooh, if I Fury Swipe, will it faint? Um, it might. Let's try a low kick. Uh, actually, no. We're gonna try the Pokeball. Uh, ooh. Okay, so yeah, just the Pokeballs isn't going too well. I think I'll take my chance with Fury Swipe. 
It's a pretty weak move. Oh no! Oh! We could have had a shell gone. Now she's gone. Oh well, I guess that's just one we're gonna have to miss out on. Uh, there's really nothing else to do in this little town. I guess there's this house. Uh, Pidgey. I wanna exchange mail. Oh. That's for union room stuff. Um, I don't care what he's doing. Uh, the only thing left here is the SS Anne, but it would be quite the journey if we go through that now. So we'll just end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye